Hey everyone, I want to take a few minutes to report on my trade results for July and August. I usually do this every month, but uh, I was gone for over a week in August. And then I was sick for almost a week. And next thing you know, it's the middle of the month and I haven't done my monthly, uh, monthly results. So Two for one special today, July and August. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna do it by account first, and then we'll jump into the results by strategy. So starting with our risk disclosure, we are not financial advisors. The securities used in these examples are for illustrative purposes only. We're not recommending that you buy or sell any security. Investing and option trading involves risk. All right, so before I jump into my stuff, let's talk about Chad's results. So in July, uh, Mighty 90 and Runners, day, day trading strategies, a little bit red, a, re a rare red month. Uh, Mighty 90s minus 840, Volume Runners minus 248, Continuation Runners plus 955 for a total of minus 133 for the month for Chad in July. Nice bounce back in August. Uh, Mighty 90 strugg struggled, but the uh, two different runner strategies made up for it, plus 5,200 for August. And then Chad continues to uh, kill it with his uh, TLC zero DTE strategy. Uh, for July, you can see the AM, his AM Iron Condors were the least profitable, but still green. Uh, lunchtime and power hour, uh, solid, a little over 40,000 for the month. For Chad on those, and then uh, he also started tracking his one DTEs, um, so another twenty five hundred on one DTE iron condors for a total of forty three thousand for for uh, July, August. Uh, again, AM trades the uh, least profitable, lunchtime the best, power hour uh, decent. A little over 45,000, another 8K in one DTE, so over 53,000 for the month of August for Chad. So continuing to, to do really well. Um, all right, so let's jump into my stuff. So uh, the first account I'll look at is my Tradier account. Uh, this is one that I primarily trade my backtest driven calendars in. July was small red, minus 5.76% with a 6.47% drawdown. August, nice bounce back. Uh, that account is now hitting new all-time um, equity highs, uh, plus 25.4% in that account, and zero drawdown. Literally did not have one losing calendar trade in the month of August, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, and here, so here's how the PL graph, uh, the blue line is my account, the red and, and yellow are the uh, spies and QQQ, just as a comparison. But um, like I said, hit new equity highs, that accounts up about 28-ish percent year to date. Uh, here's the breakdown by month, obviously August, my biggest month in that account. Uh, all right, my uh, one of my toss accounts, and this one I do... Uh, Ricks, 0, 1, and 2 DTE iron condors, and the, the majority of my transformers are in this account. So July, a little bit red, down 10.28, with a max drawdown of 12.23. Uh, August, nice bounce back, plus 28.45%. Uh, had a drawdown during the month of 1724 Here's how that looks. Uh, this was my this this was my challenge portfolio uh, dynamics of my P and L curve. Had a great run up and then just absolutely got crushed. So making a bounce back. This accounts up about uh, about thirty five percent year to date. And then here's the breakdown by month. March was the best. Down in April, May, down in June, a little down in July, back up in August. Uh, my toss PM account, this one is my, has struggled the most this year. Uh, July had a, July and August had back to back green months, uh, plus 17% in July. And in this account, I primarily do my price action, iron condors, options, selling, selling premium. 
I do my Magic Mahomes, and uh, I haven't done any PM trades lately, but this is the account that I would do those in. Uh, so July plus 17.26 with a nice low drawdown. July, uh, August, pretty similar, 17.75% with a nice reasonable drawdown. Uh, so here's the P&L curve, just could not, I mean, dipped into positive territory a couple times, but this account has been a struggle. However, I like the uh, I like this P and L curve, and and I'm hoping that's going to continue. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say on this one. It's just it's been a little bit of a struggle, just getting the account uh, to have consistency, and and part of it, you know, part of it is my consistency of just jumping around with different strategies in this account and doing different things. But anyway, back on the right track. So hopefully that will continue. And here's the breakdown. June was the real killer. Uh, nice bounce back July, August. All right. So trade results by strategy. Let's go to my trader sync and I'll break some of these down. Uh, starting with zero DTE, uh, AM Iron Condors. This is a little misleading. I mean, they have, they have been, um, and again, this is July and August, um, they have been, they have not done well. Uh, this is a little bit misleading because I also transform some of my AM iron condors, which I'll show you in my transformer section uh, that did very well. So red on AM iron condors. Uh, Bix, British iron condors, not much to report here. These are just little test trades and I'm gonna be, uh, I'll have more data to report on that strategy going forward in future months. Uh, FOMC had one FOMC meeting during that July, August period. Um, I was on July 31st an FOMC iron condor profitable and my ratio diagonal profitable. Uh, Wugas power hour Wugas, uh, just three trades, all three green. Um, yeah, uh, let's see price action, iron condors, almost a scratch. So yeah, just a lot of, a lot of back and forth. Uh, part of that is my inconsistency in trading them. And, uh, so anyway, just kind of a scratch on those during those two months, uh, combined Rick's. A uh, nice profit on my reverse iron condors, a little over 5K on 21 trades, 85% win rate. Uh, I don't think I had any vol crushes. Yeah, none of those. And then one and two DTE also struggled. Um, minus 12K. But um, again, a lot of these I transform to, so I'll get to that in the transformer portion. Um, let's see. Oh, whoops. No, it's yeah. It's more. It was. I thought it was. I, th I thought it was more than that. Yeah, minus thirty-seven on one and two DTE, but again, made up for more than that with the transformers, which I'll show you. All right, so that's zero DTE. Not a great couple of months. August much better. Uh, let's go to my day trades. So these are my mighty 90 and runner strategies. Uh, over 12K for between July and August. So I've really kind of gotten back into a focus on, on trading these mighty 90 and runners in the first hour of the day. And that's been working well, plus 12K on those for the uh, July and August time frame. Go to dynamic butterflies. I may have had one. Yeah, well, two. One was an exact break even, and then the other one was a uh, minus sixteen fifty. Dynamic calendars. Uh, a little over a little over seventy four hundred for July and August. If you look at just as I mentioned before, if you look at just August. Thirty six winners, zero losers. So quite a run in August. So twenty seven thousand in uh, 
in August. July was red, so combined uh, for July and August, like I said, is plus 7,500. But, uh, man, August was amazing when it came to double calendars, so hopefully that continues. Uh, next category, option selling. Minus 12K, you know, with some of the uh, big down moves and volatility, you know, we had that big volatility spike, got smoked out of several uh, volatility plays. So minus 12K on my option selling uh, between July and August. Portfolio margin, not much going on here. Just two trades, one for 1,100, one for 100, plus, so plus 1,200 on PM trades in that two-month period. And then transformers continue to be my top performing category. Uh, over 65,000 in July and August on my transformers. So this includes my Magic Mahomes strategy, uh, my transforming iron condors. So I mentioned on my AM iron condors and my one and two DTE, where really all my losses on those go in the uh, go in that other category that I showed you. Uh, a lot of those were also transformed and and hit some really nice profits here. Uh, you know, like here's one that was a one DTE I transformed, hit max profit of fifteen ninety. You know, so just an example there. Uh, Mahomes struggled in. Well, let's just break down Mahomes because I know a lot of people trade this. So let's just look at um, let's look at Magic Mahomes, and let's let's break it down by month. So let's look at July. Did really well. Uh. That is July. I was thinking it was more than that. Um, let me double check. Anyway, um, yeah, maybe that's right. Okay, so yeah, plus 12K in July, and then August was basically a scratch. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's bleeding over from, okay, okay. So, so yeah, anyway, um, July and August. Let's just go back to July and August. So plus, plus 11.7 on my Mahomes trades. Uh, I started doing a test with a bot trade uh, where I'm not using a transformer on it. I'm just entering the, the original piece of it, the fly, and then um, and letting it go. So, um, but anyway, that's the uh, breakdown of the Mahomes strategy, which is a a decent portion of the transformers. Um, but altogether, like I said, um, over sixty five k on transformers. Uh, this includes transforming iron condors, unbalanced iron condors, uh, different f butterfly variations. Uh, verticals to free flies, uh, vertical risk reversals have continued to be a big, uh, big winner. Um, just trying to pick out a couple other things. Pin seekers, which is, you know, it's a whole strategy in itself. But anyway, uh, that's my breakdown of strategies and and accounts for July and August. I uh, hope everybody has a good September. Look forward to a good month of trading. Started off well, um, and we'll report back in, um, at the end of September. All right, all. Have a good one. Take care.